Honestly, I'm actually having a lot more fun with it than I thought I would be because the guy playing it has never actually played it. So, just feeling his slow decline of hope that this game is actually going to be enjoyable is actually enjoyable itself. Go figure. So anyway, a new day. <clears throat> hmm. Once again, I kind of miss the, uh... <laughs> no wonder I want the Monokuma. I love the spare. What are you talking about? You're just now figuring this out? Once again, I kind of... I'm sad we lost the original, well, the earlier music for Sleeping In. News of the day. Turnip founder Mike Eggplant to buy Postal Service. Huh. Buying government services, huh? Okay. Got the pickaxe. Yep, we're in town center every day. Snalkin. Snalkin? Save him from Bordeaux Supreme. They become in a Mexicali place? The Bordeaux Supreme. New from Taco Bell. Neat. <laughs> Angus puts up some pretty good away messages, I gotta say that. <clears throat> what is it about this room specifically that takes that long to load, I wonder? Bird. Yes, bird. You kind of get the bird now. Eh, it probably wouldn't survive in the wild. No new book to read. No new inspirational saying about the uh, clock. Nothing new about the safe. Still have our tooth in there. I would assume we left the tooth in the safe. Maybe when the time comes, we will we will join our uh, grandfather in placing the tooth. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna leave the boxes right here, huh? N no other place to put them. I guess we are taking up the attic. Hey, morning church, mom. Awkward silence. Okay. Mornings are tough. Considering it's getting close to, you know, it's after 3.30 in the afternoon. Are you pregnant? Nope. <laughs> you know... Well, yeah, we know you've been there, kid. Uh-huh. Miracle baby. Ooh. <laughs> I 
Can we talk about anything else? How about school? Um... I'm out. Apparently so. You know, we're not even sure we have a stable living environment. If this boy can even Calvin. <laughs> Trash baby. Cordelia. Oh, God. Your mom's surprisingly on board with this plan. And we are leaving this time. Okay. Your mom is surprisingly on board with you having a baby and just handing it off. Let's go see if anything new happened near the edge of town. <laughs> Nothing new there. Fair enough. And no new revelations about the edge of town. Okay. I have a feeling there are more than a few people that can relate to May. I just have this funny, funny feeling that there May hits quite a few points with a lot of people. Everybody's asking May if she's alright. I think this is because of spooky ghost story she's been telling. Going through the dryer on any setting would be the wrong setting. I'm just saying, we've gone over this before. Life goes on, it feels so long, but I report, life is too short. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Can we get another slam poetry like you had the other night? You had a kind of amazing poem the other night, Selvers. So I'm just saying. More dust stars. I would imagine if he did drop his telescope, he would cry his eyes out. He has a kid? Call it, huh? A hot kid named Colin. Never know until you ask. Only like twice a week, huh? Nah, people would get really tired of something if it happened every night. That's it, huh? Okay, let's see. We've gone from shooting to worrying about the mud getting on your floors. What's next?
So, just generic weather talk, huh? Sites there. She could be very well just doing them off the top of her head. I would not doubt it. And I missed. Start that chain a little too early. remember the filter today and apparently everybody realizes that we look like crap that's a great thing to notice filter you forgot the filter again This was a childhood thing for you, huh? And we don't like what became of her. Turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth. Where her stars were no longer over her head. And how she was never seen again. Almost none of these star stories are happy stories. It's not the same as dying. Assuming we only get two every day. That's been the case so far, but you never know. Cole the Mountaineer. Close, yes. <clears throat> and my throat is all gummy for some reason. Whatever the Midwest of wherever he was from. Every place has a Midwest. The area that looks like if there was a supreme being, they took a giant trowel to the area. Guy from a flatland devoted his life to climbing mountains. It's a good kind of bad. Something like that, yeah. The disco fries.
Sky felt heavy. <clears throat> Good grief. I'd imagine if you lived up in the mountains for a while, returning down to, uh... <clears throat> There is something clogging my throat and it's not helping me tonight. But yeah, I would imagine that if you uh if you were up in the mountains and got used to the thinner atmosphere, going back down to ground level, going down to sea level, would kind of uh kinda of make things a little bit you know, pressure filled. You would definitely feel the the uh, increase in atmospheric pressure. And it might take you a little while to get used to it again. And that's it, huh? So we have falling whales. Yes, we do. The ending to this game is just going to be she takes a job and accepts life is unfair or something like that. I just have this feeling. Aww, nothing new. Why is nothing new here? There needs to be more new things here. Let's go check on Bruce and the preacher and mom at work. Maybe in that order, depending on what's waiting out here for us, anyway. If we get to go to the council meeting about Bruce. Can you do me a favor? Please stop coming by here. No. Don't tell her till tomorrow. <clears throat> tell her I said, ah, uh, you're leaving? Man. Drinking? Done fighting?
Yeah, that sounds great, but how much of it are you making up? actually does have family he can go to that is a happy ending if he does and if he's not just making up a story to make us feel better about him leaving I would imagine you guys being here doesn't help. Doesn't seem like you're doing a very good job. Peck his eye out. Just one. But apparently none of you four have a very good heart. Do we get to shove them off a cliff or something? I would imagine. Yeah, you've got what looks like apartment buildings completely empty. You've got, you know, jobs that could be filled. Eh. Hmm. 
little bit. I think I met God. of wood and sand probably gotta move it like drawn towards something move up over it a dune no sleepers awakening thank you Yeah, the homeless problem is very, very systemic. Your brother's bringing many friends and warriors. Please do not turn into a dune villain. something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. May your blade chip and shatter. <clears throat> I don't know enough Dune quotes to keep that going either. It's been way too long since I've seen it. Sure, the bits are Freeman. Sure. Getting a little deeper into May's psyche here. <laughs> Seriously, thank you very much for the bits. As we continue to dig deeper into the psyche. Are we ever actually going to learn exactly what she did? I mean, sent a kid to the hospital was all we really heard, but you know. You know a lot more about Dune than I do.
<laughs> They're gonna reboot it again? Oh man. Well, hopefully this time we don't have to have the whole pus squeezing thing added into the movie for detail. Is it? Is it really a pastor's job to believe in God? Is that their job? Do you believe in anything 100%? You're being a little bit of a jerk, May. That's rude. We are officially done talking to you for today, I would hope. After that, what is even the point of you? My god. Yeah, that is part of it. They wouldn't need faith if they had the proof. we didn't say anything about Bruce ahead of schedule. Yep, if we had 100% proof, everyone would believe this is true. Daughters. Wow. Oh, this is true. We do have flat earthers who, despite 100% truth, still believe the world is flat. I mean, it's fairly easy to prove that the earth is not flat. Really freaking easy. There's still people that believe that. Coffee crew doesn't have anything new to add to their complaints. Big axe, nothing new about that. Because for some, it isn't about, well, it's not really always about the boss being real. It's not about God being real or not for some people. Let's actually go this way. Some people just need something to believe in. Of 
course, not... I mean, I'm not going to get into the whole, yes, some pastors are crooked, corrupt, what have you. Some churches are, you know, pretty much extortionists. But there are some people that just really need a higher power. They really need that. So, Angel, huh? And having groups where you have that higher power as a thing and having a support structure around is quite comforting to, to a great many people. Apparently Angel is Spanish. Or, you know, speaks Spanish at least. Whatever that is here. Yeah, mostly the stuff in religion is supposed to have people help and, you know, help each other out and be kind and good and all that to others. But there are some people that completely misuse it. I mean, I think it's Wicca that has kind of the most concise way to put that do as thou will, lest it harm none type thing. Let's ask about Casey. Cold world run by the worst people. And good men dies for God knows what reason. And take on duties for one another. So, so far this has been a very somber day in this game. Germ seems to be a friends with a lot of the people who are just kind of passing through town. <clears throat> <clears throat> that way I want to go where I want to figure out where germs go on Definitely not going to be able to clear that anytime soon. Unless they put a box or something there. Mm -hmm. 
I'm still sad we never got to have the possibilities. Oh, we can talk to the smelter fans up here. Mabel, get off the table. I'm surprised it held up. Nope, no, nope, we didn't really have to be there for that. Not even close. Go see if the teenagers have anything they wish to share with us. Probably not, but you know. numbers is a thing, yes. Tiny bit, yes. From you. It's a girl I know online. She hadn't been on since Harfest. Is that such a surprise? What is Mulvey? Can we, can we? You don't stop there no more. <clears throat> What's Mulve? So, so we don't learn what Mulve is, we just kind of looks like a Doctor Doom shirt. We don't learn anything about Mulve itself. We just learn that it's creepy or something and something bad goes down. Fair enough. <clears throat> yeah, it sounds like it's a bad place, but why? What happened? So let's talk to the dynamic trio here. Bees a little down. Everybody's a little down. wandering okay so we can probably trigger the next step in the uh, spooky marathon looking for ghost or little Joe by accepting her by saying whatever you want to do but let's at least see what Angus and Greg are up to today Totally, what's up? <clears throat> I 
Angus also a little down. Okay. Now over to the Snalkin. Is there something else in here? <clears throat> Want to watch Beaver Priest now, huh? What is Beaver Priest? It is slightly, uh, slightly worrying with that name. Was it? Okay. Fair question to throw back at us here. Yes, we live on the roof. center, huh? Delightful, huh? Just like you, May. Everything's so tiny. You have the shoes for it. Uh-huh. Yeah, it'd be kind of difficult to say a whole lot with a broken spine. And some of the birds do not want to uh, leave. Fair enough. They'll come back. Yes, it's you, kid. Yeah. Yeah, you're still a kid. A bunch of pigeons and a sax soloist. Yep. with some very hard to hear trap work and bass guitar in the background. Yeah, partly like the dream, yes. little bit so we can't land on that ledge fair enough there's still a pentagram over there though I don't know he just seems like he's the dude hanging out playing the sax and in a kind of abandoned building hard to get a triple jump here. Mm -hmm. 
Anyone gonna pop their heads out and yell at us? <clears throat> Apparently not. Somebody's not watching TV. Now, I haven't forgotten what happens when you make jokes. <clears throat> Off to the Snalkin. dreams yes we have them <clears throat> yeah that that was one of my early observations that we had people cats and regular cats we also have people birds and regular birds I was told not to think too much hard about it <clears throat> I met God who is kind of an asshole, yes. Dude! Slushy! Yeah? <laughs> Thought we're turning down the free slushy? Don't turn down free slushy! Let's see, I need to hang out with Greg or B. So do we want to hang out with Greg or B this time? So I think we need to hang out with both of them. Anybody have any preference? We have officially checked in. But have we officially checked out? Preference. Okay. Let's go ahead and get Greg's thing out of the way. Oh, some date night stuff with Angus. Get her the F up! But let's not dive too hard into that, shall we? Let, let's not go there. Let's not go into hit her the F up. Let, let's not do that. So it looks like we might get ditched by everybody. They took the choice out of our hands and point us towards B anyway. Probably going to go do the research. Well, not the research, but the actual uh, visit of the place that is legal. <clears throat> Probably. In a new area called Proximity. Oh, we're going to a party. A Jackie. What's a Jackie party? Exactly, my question. Serious about serious stuff.
Yeah, look at you, climbing the social ladder. That doesn't mean it was secret. Oh god, we gotta spend 90 minutes making awkward conversation with the friend that we have completely pissed off twice inside of 10 minutes of conversation. Oh boy! Launder, oh Matt. Speedy serve. Something like that. One here once in Girl Scouts, huh? Play about the longest night. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out what makes a 90 minute drive worth it. And let's ask about the play rather than, you know. Corvin the thief. They didn't even make it a bird? The glowy thing on B's face, yeah, that's her cigarette. The glowy thing on the far right of the screen is apparently the guy's smartphone. He was arrowed. We heard that story, remember? Yeah, we saw his story in the stars. Poor ghost cat. Okay, yeah, I can see why being nervous at a party of someone you've never really apparently gotten along with. B, you do remember the last party, right? I think we're going to steer clear of the alcohol this time. Oh, weird, it's May. You brought May. Uh huh. Hamlet 2, Electric Boogaloo. The world is ending, May. Of course, there's dancing. Do, do we dance like um, Elaine from uh, Seinfeld? Is that what this is going to be? Apparently the end of the world is coming. So we're dancing. No fascists at this party. I like the party already. You just punch fascists. Fair enough.
Mace works too. Okay. Suburban Bright Harbor. I think we've walked into a political thing. The DJ is a total dink. No drinking for us. Can you dance? Can anyone? Well, you did say the thriller bit, and it looks like they're doing the thriller dance there. Oh god, this is a mini game, isn't it? Okay, that's about the level of dancing I can handle. Personally. Oh god, she's twerking. that so soon. Uh -huh. Yeah, don't drink anything someone just hands you. That is a good rule at parties. Very good rule at parties. That one's not quite to the beat. That's it, huh? The wise kid who focuses not on that which is lost, but on all that remains. We're talking to a fortune cookie. Stevenson. Borowski.
I think this one might be a bit high. Neither one of these is the most believable thing. See how bad we can get with this. still need to know why you dropped out of college. We still haven't learned that. And here we are. Fair enough. Secret handshake. That might come in useful. Now we just need the decoder ring. Well, there was also a pentagram near where the uh, sax player was. Yeah, B is laughing. B is having a good time. Beatrice. Probably not a good thing to blurt out around this crowd. I would Deep. I'm really, really going to bring up the fact that your grandpa got dementia and died here to strangers. right now. Not quite the same. Okay, that's worse. When your house exploded? Uh, 
Huh. Yeah, we got a few questions here. <clears throat> now there's a mood crusher right there. That is a story. That is a story. Holy sigh. I can see why you're here. to go to college just because something's interesting. May, are, are you really the person to ask if people have worked a day in their life? Are you really the person to bring this up? Intern to my uncle's firm, yes. <laughs> What's up with B? Let's dance some more. My parents own their own business, so. Suggested something. And I'm not talking pizza. But let's not ruin this for her. We've been kind of enough of a jerk to be in the past. I don't think we helped. We are definitely not helping. The 2017 Lexus? That's so last year. Yeah, something tells me B was living a life. Something tells me B really should have informed May of the plan.
They had 90 minutes of the car ride. B could have said something this whole time. I will say that. So it's not entirely May's fault, but it is still May's fault. Although getting the threatened about getting our teeth punched out. Oh God, we're going towards the river. Move it, goth dorks. I will end you right here. Want to find out, citizen? Good grief, May. Almost. I can't close it. No. So we have physics working against us a little bit. See, you can, you can say B shouldn't have lied in the first place, but if she was going to do that to try to uh, live out her dreams of going to college and hanging out with college kids, because that's really what it looked like. She could have at least filled, she could have at least filled May in on the story. It would have it would have kind of a, just you know avoided that whole her coming over here and ruining the idea. Might have. I didn't like either of those answers. May, have we not been over this? College is her dream. She would she would have shoved you out of the car for a chance to go to college there, May.
Well, no idea about the parties anyway. We don't know why she had to leave. Really illuminating. I don't think that helps. Red Winder River. Proximity. Yeah. <clears throat> Proximity. We 
Y... <laughs> yeah, but this is more embarrassing. Fair point. Fair enough. Yeah, that's debatable. You know what the Fort Lucene fish fountain would say. Beatrice Santello. We should get burgers and shakes on the way home! A revelation from Fish God. The good God, the fake one. girl I met at the party <clears throat> did the secret handshake no it is not <laughs> jiggity jog Best available friend achievement. Mayday BB. Stuck together, but don't suck together. And bombshell. So apparently May is into girls. Okay. And maybe guys. We don't know, though. We know she dated a guy back in high school. Everybody has asked her if she's okay today. Wow. Ooh, more garble and Malloy. Yeah, sometime. Keep thinking we'd see ghosts. Yeah, probably want to take a breath. I, yeah, I don't think he's going to turn you away there, May. Ah, Garbo and Malloy. It's been a little while. Shh. 
Pênalti. How very topical. Been a while. He should have potlucks. A wapa. Oh good, we're gonna contact the dead. Why is that a theme? Why is contacting the dead a theme? Down the stairs. Yeah, Garbo and Malloy are weird. The long loading. So let's see if anyone has any words of wisdom for us. He's still saying. That and dancing can take it out of you. Yeah, I would imagine parkour and dancing would uh, take it out of you. Twarn't nothing. That's oddly threatening. Wood party again, 10 out of 10. <laughs> Gotta poop the charcoal. Even if it does try to come back as God. And what type of messed up dreams do we have tonight? None? <laughs> 